South Bend's West Side needs to raise $2.7 million for the first phase of their restoration project. And that church is St. Adalbert Parish, which has been a big part of this community since 1910. But they say if repairs aren't made now, their building will fail in 10 years. Our Erica Jimenez joins us live with more. So Erica, what concerns are the church facing? Lauren Josh, I had the chance to tour the church today. And let me just tell you, it's beautiful, but you can tell that repairs are needed immediately. The St. Adelbert Parish has been a staple on South Bend's west side since 1910. It means a lot to people. Um, it has a rich history because it, it here symbolizes the immigrant history of South Bend as it was Polish immigrants who built this church 100 years ago and they came together as a community to raise funds and, and to build it. And today it's such an important place for, for Latinos uh, on the west side of South Bend. This is a place where they come for worship but also a place for social activity. A lot of their friends are here. There's a lot of activity here. Every day of the week there's something going on here which is a, a beautiful thing. But after 100 years of service and events held here, the building is due for restoration. We have to do a lot of exterior work first. That's our first phase. So it's new roof and tuck point in the sides uh, to, to repair the towers. And then from there, we'll come to the interior and, and, uh, and just beautify the interior. We're gonna, trying to get it back to its original beauty. Church officials say if the damages aren't addressed now, the cost will double in three years. And in 10 years, the building will fail if nothing is done. And it would, it's, it's no uh, exaggeration to say if this church fails, the west side of uh, South Bend will also fail. St. Adelbert priests say their doors are open to everyone and they pride themselves on having a primary Hispanic serving congregation. We offer classes for citizenship for those who are trying to, to uh, take, take their exam uh, to become citizens of the, of the U.S. We often get calls from Beacon and other organizations to do clinics here. We, did, we helped a lot during uh, the COVID pandemic with um, vaccines and also a testing site. The project will be divided into four parts and they hope it's completed by 2026. When all four phases are completed, this project is estimated to be around $14 million. But right now, the church is focused on just raising the funds for phase one. If you would like to donate, just head on over to our website at WNDU.com. Phase one of many. We appreciate that reporting, Erica. Thank you. Meanwhile, South Bend.